Good morning, kids. It is Wednesday, May 26th. Today we are going to do some grammar. Uh, I am in section one, page 18. Should look like this. We got a few pictures here and some sentences. So we're going over there is, there are. All right. Generally, we use there is. If we have one of something, we use there are if there's more than one of something. All right. So it says, Look at the picture below and complete the sentences. Use there is or there are two, three, etc. A few, many, or there isn't or aren't any, whatever. Okay. So we have picture A and picture B. They are both similar, but they are not the same. Some things are a little different. All right. So we have an example here. Number one and two. Numbers one and two have been done for you. There is a car on the road. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can fit these pictures and the sentences on here. All right, uh, there is a car on the road in picture A. We can see this car in the background. There isn't a car on the road in picture B. All right, let's move on to three and four, all right blank a big tree in picture A. All right, so I can see that there is a big tree in picture A. Let's go ahead and write that down. There is a big tree in picture A. And then let's look at picture B here. Now we have two trees. There are two big trees. There are two big trees in picture B. All right, number five, actually, let me scroll down a bit. All right, five and six, it says blank, a young boy in picture A. Okay, I can see this kid in the corner here and uh, blank, a young girl in picture B. Okay, so we should have, let me make this text a little smaller so I can fit it in here. All right, five and six here, we should have there is a young boy in picture A and number six should also be there is because we are only talking about one girl, okay? We get rid of these seven and eight, blank three butterflies in picture A, blank two butterflies in picture B, Seems like we are talking about uh, more than one. So we're probably going to use R. All right, I got one, two, three butterflies here. So there are three butterflies in picture A and there are two butterflies in picture B. So both of those we should have. Oopsie, I'm getting my lines confused here. All right, there are. And there are, there are three butterflies in picture A and there are two butterflies in picture B. All right, let's continue. Nine and 10, blank balloons in picture A, blank balloons in picture B. All right. Um, Let's look here. I do not see any balloons here. Here's some balloons in picture B. Picture A, I got nothing, it, it seems. So what should I put here now? Uh, here we need to add some words, all right? There aren't. Um, you could just say there aren't balloons in picture A. However, if I was making this sentence, I would put there aren't any balloons in picture A, okay? This sounds 
like a stronger phrase. There aren't any balloons in picture A. There are, because we have more than one, there are balloons in picture B. And once again, if I was writing this sentence, I would just add the number of balloons. Yes, there are three balloons. Now everybody knows exactly how many balloons there are. There are three balloons in picture B. And 11 and 12, blank a house in picture A, blank a house in picture B. Well, it seems that there is not a house in picture A, but there is a house in picture B, and we are just talking about one house there. So I'm going to say there isn't a house in picture A, but there is a house in picture B. All right, so that does it for page 18. And we are going to go ahead and do page 19 as well because it is on the same thing. And we have this whole paragraph to read. And then they want you to make your own sentences down here at the bottom. All right, so let's check this out. Complete the following sentences with there is, there are in the affirmative. Affirmative means uh, you will not see any isn't or aren't, okay? We are only dealing with is and are. Affirmative means we are not using the word not. Okay, my name is Annie and I live in a very big house, blank 23 rooms in my house. Wow, that is a very big house, Annie. All right, um, if we have once again more than one, we wanna put there are. And 23 is a very big house. There are 23 rooms in my house. But uh, blank only 12 bedrooms. But once again, we're talking about 12 here. There are. There are only 12 bedrooms. Also notice I capitalized the T here on there in this first one because it's at the beginning of the sentence. I live in one of the rooms on the third floor. In my room, blank a huge bed. All right, so we have uh, one bed here we should have, and let me get this text a bit smaller so I can fit it in here. There is a huge bed and there are nine windows. My bedroom isn't small. On my bed, blank lots of pillows. So lots is a difficult word when we're dealing with there is, there are. We want to look at the noun here, okay? The noun being pillows, all right? On my bed, there are lots of pillows. When we have the S on pillows, we should be using there are because I know we're talking about more than one. Um, and blank my cat. Here we are just talking about one cat. So we should say there is my cat, Fluffy. All right, so on my bed, there are lots of pillows and there is my cat, Fluffy. Um, these sentences are a bit awkward. If I was writing the sentence, I would probably just put on my bed, there are lots of pillows and my cat, okay? I would probably not even have there is, but that's okay. Um, they are just making sure we understand how to use these rules, okay? Dealing with one thing, there is. Dealing with more than one thing, there are. In my closet, blank many toys. I don't know how many many is, but I know it is more than one. 
So we should have there. R. There are many toys and blank also many clothes. Once again, this is more than one. There are also many clothes. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but blank a bathroom next to my room. All right, here we have our letter A. So we should have, there is a bathroom next to my room, also in my house, blank two kitchens and a big dining room, oh, and three living rooms. Okay, so also in my house, there are two kitchens, a big dining room, and three living rooms. And yes, the house is really big. This is a super big house. What do you need two kitchens for? They are making lots of food. All right, so um, that is all dealing with the affirmative. Let's check out the negative here. Oh no, what did I do? There we go. All right, so part B here, it says complete the following sentences with there isn't and there aren't, all right? Once again, if you're dealing with one thing, we have is not. If you're dealing with more than one thing, are not or aren't, all right? Blank a flight from here to London. Flight means we are flying in a plane. There isn't a flight from here to London. We are talking about one flight. When you deal with the word any here in number two, this tells me I should probably uh, use there aren't, okay? There aren't any movies that I want to see in the cinema, all right? So here we have plural movies. We're also using any, okay? I'm very hungry, but um, blank any food in the refrigerator. So here we're talking about food. Uh, food is an uncountable noun. So that being the case, we have to use, I'm very hungry, but there isn't any food in the refrigerator. Whoops, I forgot the word of there. There isn't any food in the refrigerator. Um, make sure you're paying attention to if you're dealing with countable nouns or uncountable nouns, all right? We want to go to the concert, but blank any tickets. All right, so I have tickets, so we should have there aren't. We want to go to the concert, but there aren't any tickets. All right, here we are dealing with money, okay? Blank any money in my bank account so I can't pay the bills. Money is an uncountable noun, which sounds weird because we like to count money, but the word money itself is uncountable, okay? So I should have there isn't any money in my bank account so I can't pay the bills. Once again, if you have an uncountable noun, you should choose isn't, right? That's why they told you, be careful with countable and uncountable nouns here. All right, next one. Number six, blank, 70 minutes in an hour, okay? Yes, there are not 70 minutes in an hour hour. There aren't 70 minutes in an hour. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Next one, number seven, in my neighborhood, blank any children. 
All right. Um, children does not have an S on it. However, this does mean more than one child. Okay, so we should choose there aren't in my neighborhood. There aren't any children. There aren't any children. This sounds like a very boring neighborhood. Number eight, Henry can't bake a cake because uh, blank any sugar in the cupboard. Okay, sugar, once again, is an uncountable noun. We should have there isn't any sugar in the cupboard. Number nine, it's sunny today and blank a cloud in the sky. Let's look at the word uh here. Okay, this tells me we're talking about one cloud and there isn't a cloud in the sky. Sounds very hot. And number 10, I'm sorry, blank any letters for you today. All right. Once again, we're talking about letters. Letters has an S, so I know we're talking about more than one. All right. There aren't any letters for you today. Uh, parts C and D here. I will leave this uh, to you kids to do yourself. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, it says, describe your neighborhood. What is there in your neighborhood? What doesn't exist? All right, so what they really want you to do, and I'll say this, um, you can probably just make four sentences. If you wanna do more than that, and uh, that is fine, okay? But what I want to see is, uh, good use of a sentence with the word there is and a sentence with the word there are and then these ones are a little tricky there isn't and there aren't okay so make sure you pay attention to uh, countable and uncountable nouns okay so um i'm going to just write four sentences about my neighborhood all right, in my neighborhood there, whoops. Actually, I'm gonna start with in my neighborhood there is a police station, okay? And sentence number two, there are many restaurants. Sentence three, um, there isn't, hmm, trying to think of things that we don't have. All right, there isn't, oh, here's a good one for me, there isn't an um, ATM by my house. Or um, I could write also, there aren't any ATMs by my house, all right? Um, I'm gonna say there aren't, hmm. There aren't many foreigners in my neighborhood. Yeah, it's mostly Khmer people near me. Um, there aren't many foreigners in my neighborhood. There are some. Okay, so here's my examples. Um, and then next part here, part D says, create sentences using there is and there are uh, in the following words and it says you can change words to their plural form if necessary meaning 
uh, we can add an S. However, some of these um, are uncountable nouns, okay? So keys, we can add an S. Trees, we can count trees. Musics does not make sense, okay? Music is an uncountable noun. Make sure you know what to do with it. Books, we can count books. That's fine. Floors, uh, we can count floors. Food and foods. Um, food is generally an uncountable noun, okay? Minute, we can definitely count a minute. Minutes, one minute, two minutes. Stars, um, we can count stars as well, although you will be counting for a long time. And restaurant, also, I used that earlier. So yes, we can definitely count restaurants. Coffee here is an uncountable noun. So make sure when you are using uncountable nouns, we want to choose is, okay? Because there is no plural form of coffee, all right? Um, also, a lot of these things when we, we can count coffee, like I can say, I ordered two coffees from uh, the cafe earlier, but um, I am not counting the coffee. I am counting cups or glasses or bottles, okay? So make sure you know uh, what to do here with music and food and coffee. Uh, you can make your own sentences. We will definitely do some examples in class today. I'll see you kids at 10.30 and 1 p.m. And that is all for now, kids. Bye-bye.